You are freaking on it, dude. Yeah. Jesus. What's up guys, here for another Sandblast Rally. I'm gonna to try to keep this one short for the video. It's gonna be a lot of GoPro footage. Uh, shakedown went perfect yesterday. The Scrambler feels better than ever. Uh, Saw Performance again has done their magic on that suspension. Uh, cartridge drop-ins uh, rear suspensions all been tuned and revalved um, yeah the bike feels really good the front end on it is super cool I took about six pounds off the front um, I'm running a Terraflex rear tire so hopefully we should be able to put down some good power and a Shinko fatty front which uh, should help because that front rim is 2.15 inches wide um, otherwise, you know, I've just got a DNA filter from a &J Cycles, and also that's where I got my uh, DCAT header from. Great little spot up in New York, uh, and a cool little Triumph tuner shop, so I'll link them below. I don't know, let's go get out there and go racing. Let's look at the bike, though. So here it is, uh, custom cookie tray front sheet there with the light that uh, I control that with the fog lamps. Uh, custom rad built by Arts in Flemington. That holds almost twice the amount of fluid as a stock one. And then I've got this uh, set up with no fan because I don't need it. I cut the thermostat out of it. Um, but yeah, got the prototype stickers on there and the front fender extender. Also kind of extended that lower front fender. And uh, yeah, just got the settings all dialed up. You know, suspension's tuned pretty hard. And uh, hopefully... I keep it in, you know, going straight, and we put down some big speed. We're looking for, like, hopefully a podium overall and also a, uh, a class win in the modified heavy class. All right, first bike out, fresh tracks, man. Hell, you're, you're set. Good luck. Yeah, you too. All right, Off-Road Pro 25. Three, two, one. Oh man, fast, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> a lot of adrenaline for this early in the morning. Go 
one here. Now that felt good. Oh yeah, yeah, I slowed up for everybody else.
seat's a little stiff. Oh, you're saying that fast. All right, 103, check it in. Oh. <laughs> Still alive. It's a good thing. Now you're done. Yeah. Beer time. Here we go. Oh, Reese, you gonna take a picture of me and you? All right. Come on, you goofballs. <laughs> Tilt the bike over, there you go. How was that, man? Hey guys, <laughs> we uh, we did it again. We did another sandblast rally. I said I was gonna try to keep this one short. Um, I don't know if you could see this, but that says oh, first place rider right there. I actually didn't know what it said, so I had to read it as well. Um, contrary to popular belief, I, I can read. So uh, how'd it go? I got second place overall as well, which is a big, big win for me. Um, you know, really fair race as far as, uh, you know, I had some problems and this other guy had some problems. So, uh, you know, I feel like it was a really solid second place overall. He also wasn't in my class. So first place moto heavy right here with the uh, Triumph Scrambler. Now, um, I learned a lot this race, you know, stage one, I think I threw down the best time overall. Um, and I was like, man, I'm cooking. And then stage two was like close, but still again, best time overall. I also led the rally, which was cool. So there's no track marks out in front of me. Um, so I wasn't following anybody else's lines. I was making my own and that's where I'm really strong at. Uh, if I'm not following somebody, I actually do better. Um, and I guess, you know, the marks on the ground, you see breaking marks. So you're like, maybe I break a little bit before that. And um, no, you know, I had a clear track and a clear mind. It was really good. The uh, the really tough part about this rally for me was stages three, four, and five. Some of the most frustrating riding I've ever done. Um, you know, I had a silly crash and I had a hard time resetting the computer for one stage. Shit. Yeah, I got it. 
Come on, get in the mood. I laid the bike down in front of basically all the spectators and um, you know it stayed running so I picked it back up and it never shut off so I just kept going I, I guess I didn't hit the tip over sensor which was really fortunate because kept going I, I guess I didn't hit the tip over sensor which was really fortunate because uh, that would have added maybe another 40 seconds to that tip over the guy who got first place overall also had some you know pretty bad crashes uh, pretty bad high side so it was a really fair fault uh, battle there where I don't feel like you know I made a mistake that cost me the first place because you know over the course of almost 100 miles of racing this guy also made some mistakes so it was pretty really fair there um Man, the bike was flawless. Uh, the rear Terraflex tire that I run on this for down here is just, it's the best 17 inch tire you can get on the bike. Um, ran a Shinko Fatty up front. Uh, between that and the Michelin Starcross Soft, which I ran last year, can't really tell the difference, but with the rear tire, um, that's the best adventure bike tire you can get for racing. Doesn't last very long, it's already smoked. Like I might run it at like a dual sport ride. Um, and then what else happened? You know, came in for services. My crew chief there, she's uh, she's undefeated. Um, actually I actually have two crew chiefs and they are both undefeated here. They've, they've got wins uh, for, <laughs> for making sandwiches for people and helping out and handing tools. And that's really what we need. You know, you need some support down here when you're doing this stuff. So big shout out to, uh, to them. And just everybody in the community, man. Everybody will help you out. Nobody's like, oh, no, I don't have this tool or I don't have this part. Uh, my buddy let me borrow his sombrero when I was working on my bike in the sun. Temperatures were excellent this year. We were up in the 80s for uh, for the, the best part of the day. So then we got into, uh, you know, out, back out of service and we go to uh, like a test or stage seven. That's where I lost my seat. I stood up for the water bar and I guess I never really pushed the seat back down and it blew off. And I thought about turning around and getting it for about... 12 seconds and then I got back on the gas and I just held it wide open and uh, I ran stage 7, 8, and 9 about 25 miles of racing with uh, no seat. I ended up taping my chest protector which I tore out of my pads and I put it on my seat so I'm not sitting on the rails but actually like that lower center of gravity the bike was, I mean it didn't really hurt me anything um, which was cool and I didn't lose my registration or insurance cards which was also a bonus because I don't, I, I don't like that paperwork stuff. Bike was set up perfect. All the suspensions from Solid Performance. Uh, they're an authorized um, Olin suspension dealer there and, and technician place, and they've redone everything on the bike. The rear shocks are revalved, and uh, you know we just flipped the tender springs uh, retainers, and they top out a little bit sooner on the shock bodies. Uh, they would do that for you if you sent your rear shocks out to them. They'll they'll tell you what they do. Um, but then the front forks, these are all super custom. You know they've been hard anodized. The uh, inner tubes have been machined down so they don't scratch the inner walls when you're getting that big flexion at about 100 miles an hour and uh, you know that's got Olin's uh, drop in cartridges in the front so it's still rebound compression in one leg but tremendous improvement over the stock stuff and that's really where I made up a lot of time now next year coming into this 
uh, modifications wise. I'm just going to add a little bit more power, but um, you know, with a tune from A&J Cycles, those guys uh, hooked me up with, you know, my rear tail light, which I broke off because um, I used the bolts as the license plate holder and the bike ate the license plate, even though I thought I had enough room there. Um, the, what else did they do? Oh yeah, uh, A&J Cycles also set me up with that DNA filter for this bike. It helps it breathe a lot more. And then, you know, I'm going to see them for a DNK tune uh, this year. And that's going to really help the bike out for next year when we're making a little bit more horsepower. Because I like to get up in the, uh, the 110 mile an hour range for topping out. This bike tops out in deep sand with that big, huge rear tire on it at about 105. And could use just a little bit more squeeze out of that that juice, you know, that orange. Special thanks to everybody who helped out with the rally. I mean, all the volunteers, all the people that put it together, the course workers, the unspoken heroes that stand out there and just move a piece of caution tape from one side of the trail to the other so we can have a different way to go. Um, it, it makes this whole event happen and it's, it's a lot of work. So, you know, if I were to think about fun per miles, this is one of the best events I do all year. And, uh, you know, I know it can be expensive for some people to make it out, but it's it's an adventure. And, I mean, you only got one one life to live. Like, what are you going to do? Not go on an adventure because it's a little expensive? That's that's not my style, and I don't think it should be anybody's. Uh, if, you can, if you can do events like this and you can get your stuff together, you know, it, it, it is a swing. But, man, I had a lot of fun this weekend, and, you know, it's irreplaceable. The Scrambler's just been a, the perfect bike for this, and I, I've just had so much fun. I, I really can't. It's gonna, I'm gonna crash from this high that, you know, is just so emotional. And uh, I think that's really the magic that kind of happens down here is seeing everybody and, and getting emotional um, and just feeling like, you know, life's kind of normal sometimes. I mean, right now we're just getting over, well, COVID's still a thing, but we're not focused on that. We're focused on other stuff. And, you know, you kind of get to shut all that down and, and go racing. So no matter what kind of racing it is, if you guys get to get out there, man, you know, comment below and uh, tell me what kind of adventure you've been on, man. I want to I want to celebrate that kind of stuff. Um, as far as the cookie tray front end goes, uh, that worked out perfect. Actually, like no issues with it whatsoever. Everything worked out really good. You know, some Amazon clamps and uh, a Baja Designs headlight and then a cookie tray from Amazon. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's not everybody's favorite look, but it's, uh, it's been fun. And you know, the cookies are good. Whew, I'm tired. All right, smile for the camera. Yep, got it. Got it. Looking great, guys. Well, I'll, I'll respond to it, because I usually respond to every single comment, unless it's like some negative stuff about, you know, my hair, or I don't know, the fact that like I didn't eat the cookie. This drives people nuts when I don't eat it. But yeah. Yeah, you guys flipped the zero car. Nice work. I specifically told them don't crash the zero car, and that's exactly what they did. <laughs> Well, they crashed the uh, the zero car Black River stages as well. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you get out there, you want to you want to have some fun. Now I'm Sans chest protector. <laughs> yep. Okay, we're coming in. Oh. Wait, is he? <laughs> oh, cool.